the coroner stepped in and at this point we know for a fact that he's gone. We just don't know anything about it. Besides, he bumped his head. And then and was complaining about it. And complaining about it. And then had a ruptured spleen and numerous broken ribs. I got a call, a private number call, at 1.47 a.m. Thursday morning. And he said, what is your relation to the inmate, Marshall Price? I said, that's my brother. What happened? Marshall bumped his head. I said, who hit him? No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. He he bumped his head and complained of a headache. And I asked again, I said, who hit him? Because I, I, I felt it in my gut at five. I just kind of ignored it thinking they'd call me. He said, you need to go to AMMC, speak to a nurse named Crystal. He said, go ahead and call your family. And I said, is he dead now? Is he dead? Ma'am, you need to go on to AMMC. I said, who hurt my brother? And he wasn't going to answer any side questions of mine. He wasn't going to answer any direct questions. He was just trying to talk over. Here's where he said it again. He's bumped his head and it don't look good for him. I don't think it's going to work out well for him. And I said, hmm. I, hung up, I actually hung up on him. I hung up on him, called my mom, um, ran for the hills, pouring rain, running out my mom. On the way, called my sister and my brother, got them on the way. Me and mom got there at the hospital at five after two. When we walked through the doors, the woman met us and mom said, we're here. I had to move the car. I let her out under the canopy. The woman said, you need to go to the quiet room. And I said, uh-uh. Mom said, uh-uh. She said, just the quiet room. The quiet room is the death room. So we went in there and we sat down and, and we didn't know what to say. Nobody was saying anything to us. And she wouldn't answer our questions because mom kept saying, is my boy alive? Is my boy alive? And they wouldn't answer our questions. So she um, left the room. Me and mom was sitting there. The doctor come in the first time. Dr. Dave Day. I believe his last name is D-A-Y. Dave Day. He said, Marshall was brought in. A little after five yesterday. Five five p.m. Yes, and I said, he said we wondered why he was alone, and nobody was here for all these hours. I said we never received a call till one forty seven. I answered the call to the jail ad admin at one forty seven a.m. We come straight here. We got here, at, you know, five after two. So. He said, Marshall, I said, they said he bumped his head. He said, Mama, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. He said, swollen brain, traumatic head injury, swollen brain, busted spleen, broke ribs. The coroner stepped in and at this point, we know for a fact that he's gone. We just don't know anything about it. Besides, he bumped his head. And then and was complaining about it. And complaining about it. And then had a ruptured spleen and numerous broken ribs. Mm -hmm. And the doctor mm -hmm. made me know he was so suspicious about the condition of the body. He, I said, so was he beat? What happened? He said, well, we're going to send him to Little Rock to find out what happened to him. He said, he's going to the crime lab. You wouldn't let us see him? Nope. No, no. Good he, see him, good and him. in the corner, I said, can I see my boy? And he said, ma'am, families." Always want to, but he said it wouldn't be wise. And then he said, you can't go in there because you want to touch him and you can't touch, touch him. him. He's in crime scene. Can't, can't touch him. Now. And I said, so you mean like his body is the crime scene? He said, yeah. 